this is now the part 4 of our hands-on video tutorial on how to build rooms in Dalax Evo. This is still the continuation on how to build Silly. It is really time-consuming to uh, do retail lighting design, especially if you are too detailed in all parts of your room. But because most of the clients for the retail project is an architect or interior designer, so you have to follow their sophistication in terms of design. But if your client is a contractor or a simple consultant, then you can make it simple as you like. But um, most of our clients in terms of retail lighting project is um, architect or interior designer or the client itself. So we have to make it a good impression. That's why we make it in a full detail. All right, so I mentioned that we will create our doors and the display window glass. So let's go. First, let's create um, a door on the fitting room. So based on the drawing, it says that there's an open. Is there a section view showing how it looks like? See, those arrows are pointing to the wall, not here. So we will just assume this. Is there something here? No, it's not mentioned how high is the drop of this. Can we have a view? No, we cannot see it in section. Or so the section drawings are incomplete. We don't know the height of this hidden line. Okay, we will just assume it. And uh, what else do we have here? So there's a door for the um, stock room. Uh, we don't need to do it here, but here we need to put. And then, of course, the main entrance and the display window. So let's go now and do this one. Okay, let's do it. So go back to your story one. Go to your tab. Turn on again the active general layout and turn off the RCP plan. So we don't need the RCP now. Let's go back to this one. So what I found out, we need to edit again our uh, external walls here. So let's go and select this tab, Story and Building Construction tab, and then select this one. And then we need to move this up to here. If you want to add point, just right click, add point, then right click, add point. Yes, this is the way it is. And this one also here and here so let's just zoom up to here and then add point here and then there and then up to here add point and then here add point okay let's make it precise there you go another one very precise indeed <laughs> okay so go to the other side also there's a column here and again for the glass all right, I think we need to double check now our section or front view to insert our um, doors and windows. So let's go and uh, check the drawings again. In our front view, it says that in the height of the doors, 2.8. See, this one is 2.8. Let's double check the eye. Yeah, it's 2.8. Also the entrance. It's 2.8. Yes, and it's a double door. 2.8, 2.8. And the frame is 50. 50 centi. Alright, so 2.8, 2.8. And then 50 centi frame. So let's go to the Dallas Evo. Now, if you want to insert your doors and windows, go to these apertures and then select... I will show you the other options. So there are so many. Three wing, round, square, window, and then window. And then for the bots, for the two sides, I will select this one. And for the main entrance, I will select this one. So let's start with the display window first. Select, which is the existing one. And then it says 2.8 height. And the seal height is zero because it is touching the floor. The seal height is the height of your window from the floor. And then the width we will be determined because we will use the draw new building opening instead of position. Okay. So 
uh, click the new draw new building opening and then click and click there you go and then it says that the frame width is 50.05 is it yes okay let's check it let's make it ah there you go 0 0.05 there you go so let's measure this is correct so let's go to the 3d and see it and this is good oops i forgot i don't have a floor so let's go to the side side tab and create our floor land we're not sitting in land so let, let's go and select the rectangular floor element and then do like this and then no there you go okay so let's go and select the aperture again and then add another window and doors here so let's go to the plan view select the same 0 0.05 2.8 with seal height zero so let's go and position or draw new building opening and select it sorry click and then click and double check all right perfect let's save it and then for the front or the main entrance it's a double swing door so we have to make sure it's a double swing door okay so let's go for the main door select again and then select this one square window with two division so the height, let's change it into 2.8 and then the frame width is all right, 0 0.05 also and then make it 0. Draw new building opening, press it and make sure you selected the right opening here. All right, there you go. Let's double check. Ooh, perfection. I love it. And of course, there's a signboard here saying that the couples, 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 couples. Double check. Okay. So later we will add these objects for the couple signboard. I think it's up to here. All right. Let's do it now so you will know what I'm talking about. <laughs> let's go and select the objects. So what I'm going to do right now is I will create this signboard. So let's measure it first. 7.5 correct and then this one is well it depends on the area so 0.75 in, rather okay let's go to the dialogs and draw extrusion body so extrusion body and then make sure you are in the side tab because um, it will go here because it's outside the room and then close and right click and then the height is 0.75 and make sure go to the elevation view and put it up there you go and another one on the other side same thing you can copy actually that one and then scale it but I did it in the hard way and then 0.75 and then go and put it up um, maybe this one I can copy control C and then control V if it's the same, if it's the same length, you can just copy it. Okay, let's go and select, check. There you go. It's fine. So this is cool. Now we have our signboard later. We will add something on that and some decoration here because it says in the drawing that it's flat. See, it's flat. So we'll put something to make it flat. Or can we do it now? Yes, let's do it now. Again, extrusion volume. And this one, because maybe the client wants to add facade lighting later, so let's let's just add it now. And then close. Then they go to elevation. And then increase it up to here. And then make it, scale it, right click, and then let's see. Okay. Can we increase up to the ceiling? Yes, scale. Very good. And then can we copy the color? So go to materials, pick, and then pick. <gasps> there you go. Almost perfect. I'm a little con I'm a little concerned about this one because the gap is showing. Anyways, so let's uh, continue working with the doors. Go to the story tab now again, and let's put door here. So for this stock room, we can just select any ordinary door here available, and uh, let's use this one and then let's select this one position active opening 
And then let's see what will happen. Ta-da! It's automatically inserted. Uh, where is it? There you go. But on the opposite side. So let's just rotate it. And yes. Correct. Now it's done. And then I told you that there's an opening here and we will just assume it. So go to the um, sell selling area. So we can see all the sides. And then let's just uh, cut the door for this one. Make sure you do it properly. There you go. Okay, go to the elevation again. Okay, now go to the plan view. Right click, move. Up to there, is it? No, make sure it's like this. And then it's up to here, so right click again and then scale. And there you go. So, we have now our entrance for our um, fitting room. Yeah? Alright. So, let's go on the other side and let's do the same. So, go, go to the cut, up ta cut out tab and make sure it's correct. Yes. And then right click again and scale and up to here. There you go. So I'm fine. It's good. All right. So we're done with our doors and glass window. Next topic is we will, um, what's the next topic? We will put the shelvings and everything and maybe the textures. All right. So the next topic is how to import and create objects. So I think we need to finish with our textures first because I thought I'm planning to insert the shelves now, but uh, that is for the object. So let's build up the room first. Everything must be finished. Um, okay. So aside from before we insert object, we need to make sure that the textures and everything is finished. All right. I mentioned that there's a drop uh, beam here. There's another way actually to do that. We can either use this one uh, beam, this one. And draw it there like this I will show you oh this is supposed to be same length or width and then you can see now in the section view that this is the one and if you go to the 3d you can see that the beam is now there okay it's hiding there you go. Alright, we can either use the beam or drop ceiling instead of the beam because there's a glitch. I don't want glitches. So let's close this one. Let's undo, undo, undo. And instead of beam, let's just use the drop ceiling. I, there, there are three ways on how to do this drop ceiling on the wall or this one. Either you will use an object or you will use a drop a ceiling or you will use a beam so I think all right let's go and use the ceiling instead so let's go to the ceiling tab and draw new ceiling let's go and start with the middle and then let's start creating our ceiling here all right to go to the elevation and it says that the height of this one is let's go and check di and to the floor we did an open we need an opening of 2.502 double check di 2.502 and there's a groove again here so we need to uh, um, do that so 2. Point Five zero two. Okay, there you go. Now it's there. And then again, so let's create a new drop ceiling. Draw new ceiling, and then up to here. Again up to here, and then here, and then there, and then right click and polygon. And what I have here, two point fifty two. Right click and copy, and then select this one, and then Control V. Let's double check. Elevation. Now it's done. I don't think it, if I copy it, if it's cop, it's going to be copied. So let's try. Control C and then Control V. 
and then drop it there. He is okay. So right click and now it cannot scale. So edit the polygon and there you go. Double check there on the other side also. So let's just copy. Uh oh, something's wrong. Okay, and then that is like this. Yes, I know. All right, so I think um, we will continue this one later. Ah, gorgeous. And we will select the color, the right colors for the walls and the floor.